All right, hello everybody. So we are here with another episode of Community Voices and we have a very, very, very exciting guest with us, the very famous Winnie Harlow. Um, Winnie, thank you so much for being a part of this conversation with us today. Um, joining us here in our JD Sports Times Square store to talk all things K-Skin, Puma, and of course, Winnie Harlow. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's, um, thank you again. Um, how are you doing today? Tell us how you're feeling. I'm good. I just landed into New York, the Big Apple, and I'm really excited to be in the store. And I am just seeing things I haven't seen before, like my Puma campaigns that I've never seen. And it makes me so excited to see them in store every time. So it was a very warm welcome. Oh, amazing. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, obviously, something that we want to talk about is your new um skincare line. Um, so you recently started K Skin, which is really like a daily sun care, but also skincare line. Um, talk to us just about the inspiration for um, this new venture and really what um, what sort of provoked you to, to go in on this new business opportunity for yourself. Oh, yes, yeah, strong yeah. word. I like that one. Yeah. Um, so I think sun care and skincare has always been really important to me. My mom used to sell skincare door to door and I was always a little kid that wanted to um, read the bottles of packaging and um, seeing all the benefits of skincare. So I've always been really interested. And then being that my background is Jamaican, when I was in Jamaica growing up, I would get, you know, sunburns, mosquito bites, and my family would always, you know, make these natural remedies, whether it be for, you know, skin ailments or being having a sickness, like a cold or something, they were always making natural remedies. So that was also something that I grew up with and loved. And um, that was something that I also wanted to make sure was in my line from, you know, sea moss to aloe vera to hibiscus, all things that I learned about from my Jamaican heritage. But even though skincare and sun care was so important to me, as I got older and had a shoot, I was shooting in the, Bahamas, in the Bahamas on the beach and no one on set wanted me to put on sunscreen because it was leaving a horrible blue cast on my skin. And I remember having that same disdain for the, the pigment that it would leave on my skin when I was younger. And so I didn't wear sunscreen on that shoot, but of course that resulted in me getting the worst sunburn of my life. And I realized the only reason I didn't wear sunscreen and that nobody wanted me to wear sunscreen was for the look of it. But SPF is not about the look, it's about protection. And so I wanted to create a line that, that filled a gap in the market of sun care that is beautiful on all skin tones while keeping us all protected because it's very important to protect your skin from the sun. Amazing, amazing. I love hearing you talk about um, the sort of the early stages of what inspired you to think about this brand, but also what that means for you now and how you can really, you're really impacting people's lives in an amazing way while also delivering a really incredible product. So along those lines, for you as a female business owner, um, minority business owner, um, in the beauty space, which as you said, sort of comes with these um, ideas that it's all about the aesthetic and maybe not so much about the purpose of the products that we're using. What has it been like for you as a female business owner in beauty, um, bringing something like you said, new to the market, filling a gap? Um, talk to us just about that journey and, and how you are navigating that process. Yeah, everything has been brand new, you know? I. I may be a model and, you know, I've done a lot of things in my life, but these things that I do when it comes to creating a new brand are all brand new to me. So I'm still learning as well um, as I, as I go along, but it's such a, um, a rewarding thing because it's something that's my own. It's something I'm very passionate about and it's something I've always been passionate about. Um, it's also incredible for me because I'm filling not only a gap of something in the market that was missing, but um, I'm one of maybe a hundred
women of color who have raised and I feel like that is so insane one because I mean our voices as women of color should be trusted to create these incredible products that we buy we know we live by and um and I, I'm happy to continue to grow and inspire other women of color and women in general to know that their voices should be heard, their ideas are important and valid, and they should go for their dreams. Absolutely. Um, so let's dive in there because I think you know you're talking about inspiring women, empowering women, um, and I know that that's such a big focus for you, specifically for for young women. Um, I, I have sisters myself. I grew up in a community of women. Um, my, my little sister looks up to you, looks up to women like you. Um, so thank well, you for that. Thank well. you for that. First of all, I will, she'll freak out. <laughs> um, but speaking about just empowering young women, can you maybe talk to us a little bit about the work that you're doing in that area specifically, um, just to focus on like young female communities? Yeah, I think it's always important to keep kids um, inspired. You know, we were all kids once upon a time. And I think sometimes as you get older, you turn into an adult, you forget that we are the kids that they once said were the future, right? Mm -hmm. And so it continues to go forward. And the kids now that we see are the future. So I think in everything that I, I do, I try to keep that in mind as well. Um, like the, the kids need something to be inspired by. And every you know move I make when it comes to especially K skin and like taking that leap out and that that step into um, unknown territory for myself is always like trying to make my younger self proud as well so I think it's it's always important to just continue to press on and um, do the things that scare you because you can't create any growth in a comfortable space yeah I feel that and, and I don't want to speak for you, but I'm sure that your younger self is very proud of you now, um, you. As, as a lot of people are. Um, so we we as a company, JD Sports, um, really want to help you continue empowering young women. Uh, so we're doing that, putting our money where our mouth is um, with a 10K donation to a place called home. Um, so what would you just, if we could speak to these women that will be helping, um, what advice would you give to a young girl who's looking to follow her passions, not just in your industries, but just young girls who have dreams. Um, what would you say to those girls um, about how, you know, about the road ahead? Yeah, I'm really, really excited about um, you guys help with a place called home. It's a place that I have visited a few times and is who we, you know, try to help when it comes to K-Skin and our mission of making sure that we're not just a new product line, we're making a difference. And, um, and so it, it's really important to me to give back um, to those young kids, I would say the same exact thing, like you have to um, make sure that you are allowing yourself to grow. Um, I think the first time I ever moved away from home, uh, I was probably 20 years old and I was moving across the world to London. I had to make those ventures and those changes in my life for my career. And it was so scary. I didn't know anyone and, you know, I was very lonely at times, but those were the things that I had to do to create a new space for myself and to create new opportunities for myself. So that was, that's one thing in my life that I try not to shy away from, trying new things, doing new things, going new places, and um, not ever getting into a comfortable space of being stagnant, because I think a lot of times we can be our own hindrance in life. So always making sure that you are pushing yourself um, past your own boundaries. Amazing. Awesome. Well, I want to wrap it up with um, just like one final question, and you kind of touched on a little bit of this, just with moving and, you know, really starting a new community for yourself. So I would say who in your community around you um, inspires you the most um, and why? I think um, the people that I keep in my life in general inspire me. I think it's always like vice versa, my friends, my family, my team, they always tell me that I inspire them. But um, in order for, you know, these people to be in my life for so long, they must inspire me as well. So. I think it's really important as well for the people that you keep in your life to um, have a positive um, 
effect on your life. And um, I think, especially like with my mom, my grandmother, like so many people will say in my family that I remind them of my grandmother, very strong. We're also Leos, <laughs> um, very fiery women. And so I definitely would give it up to, you know, the people that are close to my family, but for sure, my grandmother, very strong woman amazing fire signs i'm an aries so i feel you there um, okay period. <laughs> uh, well winnie thank you so much um for joining us for this community voices episode um it's been a pleasure chatting with you i know that we as a company love the work that you do we love getting to um interact with you and, and your your likeness via the puma brand um i'm a k-skin fan myself now so thank you for that thank you um, and for everyone who's watching, thank you for joining us. And um, until next time, thank you, Winnie. Until next time.